My name is uh, Dr. Akira Wu. I'm a practicing nephrologist or renal physician at uh, Mount Elizabeth uh, Medical Center, Orchard. When you have a CKD, I mean, there's something wrong with your kidneys. Maybe a stone in the kidney, or the size of the kidney, one of which is smaller, or when you have uh, impairment of kidney function, or more commonly, just the presence of blood or protein in the urine. When you talk about CKD, uh, CKD, we talk about stages. So early stages like one and two, uh, these people are pretty healthy. When the staging drops down to three, that's the official definition of CKD stage three, that's when things get a bit more concerning. So at the more advanced stages, when it's down to four, then you start to feel a little bit tired because uh, these individuals tend to be a little bit anemic. And when you go down all the way down to five, that's when you start to have problems with uh, reduced appetite, the swelling of the legs, in general, more and more fatigue. Now, one of the early symptoms of CKD, more advanced CKD, is you get up to pass urine more often at night. Right? You're not supposed to do that. At best, maybe once a night, if you start doing it four to five times a night, there's something, there may be something wrong with your kidneys. The thing about chronic kidney disease is that it's a silent disease. You may be harboring stage one, two, even three without any complaint. That's really worrying. But there's a very simple way to tell whether you've got kidney disease or not. Do a simple urine examination. If you see protein in the urine or blood, that will alert you to this possibility. So it's a very simple test. Right? The thing about CKD is prevention. If you see these changes in the urine, for instance, then there's a whole host of medications, oral medications, uh, which are very effective in preventing what we call progression of the early stages to late stages. I think uh, all patients should be empowered to look after their own conditions. So they must know. There are three things you need to know. One is the blood pressure. Number two is the blood sugar levels. Number three is cholesterol the bad cholesterol called LDL cholesterol. These are the three things the patient must know when they come to see the doctor, see? Food is important. So I think for family members, it's important to cook healthy food. Not so much fried food, not so much high cholesterol food. Right? Salt is an important contributor to a high blood pressure. So tone down a bit on the salt. Have family, you know, going out uh, on weekends, maybe doing exercises in the park. All these are positive things you should do. My message is very simple. Don't treat CKD patient like a sick person. Treat them just like yourself, okay? Part of the family, lead a normal lifestyle with some restriction, with positive thinkings.